Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our first of our Hall of Fame inductees, um, Melissa McPherson Corn. I'd like to start by telling you a little bit about her. Like Katie said, although she was an athlete, she was a student first. I think during her career here, I don't think she got anything lower than an A. Uh, in the pool, she was an outstanding swimmer, winning numerous awards and leading her team to the ACAF title in 1995. In cross country, she was a dominant runner. Three times all CIF, two, team, two times all state. She and her teammates set the standard for our program, a standard that we try to live up to every year. After leaving Sacred Heart, she received a full scholarship for swimming to LaSalle University, where she not only was one of their top swimmers, but later, became one of their top cross-country winners as well. All this while maintaining a near-perfect GPA. After graduating from LaSalle, she went on to law school, and she's presently a lawyer with Paul Coulter and Neiman, is married to Greg Corn, and now lives in Glendale. I had the privilege of coaching Missy for three years. And to be honest with you, it took me a little while to realize how special she was. <laughs> you see, she wasn't my typical, in my own mind, she wasn't a typical superstar athlete. But as I got to know her, I realized she was one of the most competitive people I've ever met. She was a fierce competitor who hated to lose. Whether it was in an interval workout at practice or a race, she refused to lose. In fact, Missy was one of those rare runners that I never had to worry about the day of a meet. No matter who we were running against, no matter how good they are, I knew Missy would battle their number one. And more often than not, she would win. But I also knew if she didn't win, the next time they race, Missy would beat her. Because that's how she, what a competitor she was. What I, what I, excuse me. What I feel separated Missy from all the other athletes I've coached is her mental toughness. I've never saw an athlete with better focus. Or an athlete to compete at such a high level, no matter what the circumstances. If it was hot, rainy or wet or muddy, if she was sick or injured, I knew Missy would give her all. And she would strive for excellence. I think that trait has done her well in life and made her successful. And I believe it's that characteristic that made her the best runner we've ever had here on the Hill. You know, after she graduates every year, there's a new crop of runners. And I look and I said, maybe she's the next Missy. <laughs> but I think truly down in my heart, I know there's only one Missy, and there always will be. It is my privilege to introduce our first Hall of Fame inductee, Listen to first court. freestyle 
And literally, the left half of the pool was all Sacred Heart swimmers. It was Jennifer Abbey, Kelly Evanilla, who was later my roommate at LaSalle, uh, me and Megan Jones. So it was just, it was really neat, and it's something that I will never forget. But I think probably my fondest memories are of cross country. Um, and I do want to thank my parents. Uh, I don't think my mom missed a meet, and she was the cross country mom and always there. And my dad would leave work early and come to as many meets as he could. And uh, I think that was a special time for us because he would come to practice and we would run together in the morning. And this would be with the other girls, but it was just a really neat um, bonding experience that my dad and I had. And, um, but I, of course, can't forget Mr. Nish. Uh, every every day before our race, there would be a little note on our lockers, and it had either, you know, a, it was a, lyrics from a song, or it would just be, a, you know, a quote or something that he made up, and he truly was inspirational, and it's no wonder that so many girls came out for the cross-country team, because he was just really... No matter if you were the first girl or the last girl, he cared about everyone equally, and he was just so kind and caring and inspirational and really a truly wonderful coach, and I will never forget those times. So I just want to say thank you. Um, and I guess I just want to say thank you for the teachers. Um, this is a really special and neat school where Women don't, young women don't have to be afraid to be themselves. They can, um, you know, I think the confidence that I learned here and learning to stand up for myself um, and to be independent and strong, and I think I've, those are traits that I've carried through uh, not only college but through my career, and I'm, I'm truly grateful. I think I, I look at this wonderful building and all these new things, and unfortunately my sisters and I, you know, weren't able to, to play here or do any sports here, but this school has so many opportunities for young women, and I hope you young ladies out there who go here now, don't forget that, and when you leave here, you know, remember these opportunities and the support that all these wonderful teachers have and staff. Um, so thank you, everyone. Uh, this is wonderful and a great honor, so thank you.